Hi, it's David Dillard with Sleep and Silence Centers of Georgia again, and I'm back at uh, the uh, blogging thing, which I'm um, trying to get used to. So, um, one of the things I was going to talk about today, um, we've been talking about nasal irrigations and some different things that you may see in nasal irrigations. One of the things that you'll see in any, some nasal irrigation formulas that are formulated usually by compounding pharmacies, but you can do some different formulas that you can actually do at home. Um, and so I'd like to talk about some simple things that you can do after sinus procedures or just if you're having a sinus infection to decrease the mucus count. Some things that you can do to try and improve your, your sinuses by rinsing them out. Now, we talked about how to use nasal irrigation, neti pods and all that kind of stuff, trying to keep them the jet off of the center line of the nose and more out where there's a little bit more of a, of a um, sturdy uh, tissues. But one of the things that we can do at home is to add something that allows an emollient to do that. And, and so one of the formulas you can make is you can take eight ounces of boiled filtered water and make your own saline. So it takes about a half a teaspoon of baking soda. And I've got this handy dandy cheat sheet that we hand out for the uh, for the um, folks that come to the office. And so what you can do is you take eight ounces of boiled water, allow it to cool, um, keep it in a, uh, a clean environment, and just make it just before this this is to be used. Use a half a teaspoon of baking soda, not baking powder. There's a difference. Um, along with a teaspoon of non-iodized salt um, as the iodine will irritate the nose. And you, if you take a white corn syrup, Caro is like the, the brand that we wound up using when I was a kid, um, and put that into a, a syringe and squirt it up inside the nose on either side with a little nasal tip or a neti pot, as long as the neti pot's cleaned out. Um, these can be very helpful. And again, Part of the reason for that uh, caro syrup is to recreate that mucus so it protects the sinuses. And that's important. So a lot of times when you have irritation in the nose, you may feel like you're dry all the time. Uh, we have talked about Poneris in a previous talk. Um, those things, if it's dried out, will feel like you have an infection and you don't have anything going on. So it's, it's a nice trick that you can check and see if something's happening. And it will usually give you some relief and it sort of sticks around a little longer to make things a little more nasal friendly. Hope this helps and we'll see you soon.